Hi, my name is Bastian Matteau and in this video I would like to show you a, a pretty special kind of decorator. Um, this is the third video in the series of videos on decorators. And here we're going to show how you can use a decorator to replace a function uh, with an instance of a class that behaves more or less as the original decorated function, but as always, adds some extra functionality to the decorated function. So what we have here is a function that we've seen also in a previous video that returns a random alt digit. So just to show you that it works, up if I execute it, three is a random digit, three, nine, one, etc. What we want to do now is define a decorator that uh, simply returns a random alt digit, but also remembers which digits have been returned in the past. And to do that, we're going to use a class. So this, I will show you how it works uh, and then walk you through what is exactly happening. So we'll call the decorator elephant um, because elephants have very good memory. And I will use a capital to indicate that elephant is a decorator, but it's actually also a class. So we have a class elephant. Now, what will happen if we uh, decorate a function with a class? Well, what will happen is actually very sensible and very logical. We will call, it will end up calling the constructor the, or rather the init function of the class with the function as the first argument. Um, so we simply remember the function. Okay. Now, and then what we get, if we do this, basically random odd digit will become an instance, oh, will become an instance of our elephant object. Now, in, if we want it to behave as a regular decorator, then we need to make sure that our elephant object is callable, just like it is a function. And you can actually do that in Python. So if we define an dunder, so underscore, underscore call function, then our, uh, then our object instance will be callable. What can we do? Well, if we call our object instance, what we're simply going to do is return, uh, execute and return the original uh, function that we've decorated. So here, random all digits, we have decorated our uh, we have decorated our function with this class decorator. It is a class decorator in the sense that the decorator itself is a class, not in the sense that it is decorating a class, which you can do too, right? But that's not what we're doing here. We're decorating a function, and the decorator is a class. Uh, the reason that we can call it as though it is a function is because we've defined this underscore underscore call function, right? If I say also here print up x you will see that x is printed to the terminal whenever we call random or digit. Now, so far, this decorator doesn't do anything, but it allows us to implement uh, additional functionality in a very cool way. So say that our elephant has very good memory. So we define a memory property, which is a list that's initially empty. Then we say, okay, the return value up equals self dot the return value func, the decorated function. And we're going to append that to the memory. Up, redfall. And then we're going to return redfall. Okay, does this still work? Oh, no. List object is not callable. All right, I have to append like this. Up. And now it still works. And what we're doing in the meanwhile is all the while keeping track of all the return values in this underscore memory property. Now, let's then also define another function method, uh, which I call memory. And what it does is simply return uh, self dot underscore memory. Now we can do something very cool. We can say we can print a random old digit, but we can also say print random old digit dot memory. Uh, and just to show you that this actually works, let's do it twice. Let's execute it and see what happens. First time we print a randomly old digit nine. Then if we print out the memory, we get the list nine. Print out another random old digit one. We print out the memory, we get the list 9,1. So this works, and this is very remarkable, right? Because we're on the one hand treating random odd digit as a function, which we can do because it is it has a call uh, method. But we can also call functions on random odd digit, in this case here, the memory function. And we could also define properties, etc. It is simply a full, uh, full class instance. Now, and in this way, uh, you will see that uh, you can use functions, or sorry, you can use classes to decorate functions. And you will actually see this in real life. For example, in the in Funk Tools module of, uh, of Python, the Python standard library, there's an LRU cache uh, 
uh, decorator that I believe uses this basic design pattern. I'm not 100% sure, but it does something along these lines. And it's a very, very powerful technique. In most cases, this is not how you would implement a decorator, right? Only do this if you really need the extra power and extra flexibility of having a class, right? For example, because you want to have functions that you can call on your decorated function. Uh, but in most cases, simply use a regular function decorator. But this does show the immense power of decorators. With that, thank you very much for your attention.